can't believe they had the battery in stock. That's awesome. Usually everything has to get ordered in for most shops around here. The price is $99. I've just had so much green tea, it is ridiculous. But the good news is that I've had no coffee at all. Right, I'm going to the camera shop to get another battery for this camera. It doesn't last as long as the old camera, and so I need to get a spare just so, just so I can have a spare, really. We've got it in stock, unbelievable. I thought I would have to order it in. Did I pay $99? No, I got a discount. Of course I did. But in saying that, I shouldn't be too presumptuous because it's a good camera shop. The guy in there, Jared, he really knows his stuff. And if he doesn't know his stuff, he'll go and learn it. It's been popular about here in New Zealand. It sort of, um, it sort of died out. Is that right? And it's slowly picking up again. Right, I'm going to try my hand at this racing. What I'm doing now is going to the workshop to see how the tumbling of the new, larger titanium pill pots are going. Right, I don't know. What's going on in there? Actually, I do know what's going on in there. There's lots of foam and soap. We're not letting the water run out of the tumbler. And we're putting soap in, like compound in as well. And because we're not letting the water run out when we have soap in, it's, it's making a very soapy environment. And that's why we have a whole bunch of bubbles. So today we're still doing more testing on the tweezers. And in addition to that, This is one of the titanium containers, the titanium pill pots that I talked about in yesterday's video. So what we are doing is tumbling those, getting a nice finish on them, and they will be ready for the Kickstarter project, which will launch hopefully just over a week from now. detour on the way home. It is precisely 2.06 p.m. and I have not had a coffee today. I thought I might celebrate that fact by having a cough. No, I'm not going to do that. Just come up here on the way home. It's such a nice day. It's been raining for a week solid here and it's just nice for it to be a bit of sun and scenery. Take a look at this. Look at that scenery, unbelievable. It's a bit windy though. Still nice and warm, don't even need a jumper. I have a jumper though, I don't need it. So I've arrived back at the house 
And what I need to do now is start putting together the Kickstarter project page. Now that takes a long time because I put a lot of effort into it. And the reason I put a lot of effort into it is because it makes such a difference. I should elaborate on that. It makes a difference to the Kickstarter project. You need to do everything you can, everything, to try and get someone to support your project, to, to pledge for your Kickstarter project. It's really no use just going, these are my, you know, whatever it is, titanium pens, pencils, or in this case, what I'm doing now, titanium pill pots. There's no point saying, these are the titanium pill pots, this is how much they are. You really, you really need to sell it, and that's why I put so much effort into that. Here's how I approach it. I write down basically the pitch, you know, the the, the message that I'm trying to, to say. I write that in paper. I mean, look how scribbly that is. My handwriting is atrocious, but that's fine. As long as I can read it, that's the main thing. So I write it. I write, here's the first line. Dear friend, if you want the world's best fully titanium storage system, then you've just found it. Now it goes on, you know, it's pitchy, it's salesy, I'm fine with that. That's how I approach it just now. Basically I've done 10 Kickstarter projects and getting close to a million dollars in total funding. So I like to think I know what I'm doing, but maybe I don't. Anyway, I've done the start of the pitch and I've got to get it into online form now. <laughs> Right, coffee time. Only joking, green tea time. Yeah.